Pay attention to this animation. You just saw the animation we create in this easy to follow tutorial using Canva. If you use Canva free, just know that you can follow this tutorial, but the end result is not going to look exactly the same as the one I showed you because you will need to change some of the premium elements I'll be using, like for example, this cursor and the click sound effect. But in my opinion, these are just small details and you will end up with an amazing animation if you follow these steps. On the other hand, if you want to replicate exactly the same animation, there is a Canva Pro free trial in the description. Let's start by building the frames we need for this animation. We're going to go to Canva's homepage or canva.com and click on the video icon. From here, click on mobile video. On this animation, we are going to need three different frames. So let's start with the first one. We're going to add a frame to this design so we can add our profile picture. So let's go to elements, scroll down to find the frame section and select the circle frame. Now we're going to add a border border to this frame, so we are going to click on this icon that says border style. From here we're going to move this slider to the right and you want to see here a number close to 20. I'm going to leave it at 22 and before moving on to the next step we are going to click on the border color button and we're going to change the color. I'm going to add a hex code here and now I'm ready to add a profile picture. You can upload your own profile picture using this section right here that says uploads. I already have a couple of pictures of myself that I can use in here. And if you don't have a profile picture of yourself, you can work with a photo inside the Canva library. Let's go to elements and let's search for profile picture. Go to photos and select any of the photos right here. I'm going to use this one, so I'm going to drag it in the frame. I'm going to reduce now the size of this frame a tiny bit and move it up. Now let's go back to elements, go up, and in shapes you are going to select this shape right here. Let's move it down and change the shape of this square. I'm going to change the corner rounding so it's not that round, so something close to 30 can work. And now let's add a text box. You can add a text box to your design by pressing the key T. I'm going to type in here subscribe and now I'm going to customize this text box. So I'm going to double click on this text and then I'm going to change the color, the font. I'm going to use this font on this design. I'm going to increase its size. I'm going to position this text box in the middle and I'm using the arrows on my keyboard to be more precise. And then I'm going to select both of these elements and go to the position menu to make sure that these elements are aligned to center. I'm not going to select this option because there is something going on with this text box. If I select these two elements and then click middle, you will see that this text box is slightly up and I don't want that, so I'm going to leave it like this. Now I'm going to select all of these elements and make sure that they are aligned to center. You will see that when you move these elements on the page, you will get these pink guides. You want to see these lines appearing vertically and horizontally. That means that these elements are aligned to the middle and the center of the page. We can now close this window and we can start searching for the cursor element that we want to use on this first frame. For this we are going to elements and from here you can either search for cursor, you will see here under graphics, a lot of elements that you can use on this animation. I do suggest you go for elements that are static, not the animated ones because we are going to add an animation later on. And also here we have a mix of premium elements, the ones we 
included in this little crown, but you also have a lot of free elements in here. Now you can search for cursor, mouse pointer, mouse click to find slightly different illustrations and I'm gonna use a different keyword in here this time. I'm gonna search for subscribe dash zero one and i'm using this particular keyword because i want to use this icon right here and this is actually its title name okay now i have this illustration here that i want to use and i think it looks really nice when it is small the way we need it on this animation and we're going to position this illustration somewhere here a little bit hidden but you should still see a little bit of of the illustration. I think I have the first page ready or the first frame and now I'm going to duplicate this page two times. So I'm going to click on these three dots, duplicate page and then one more time. You should have now three different pages. Let's go now to page number two. Make sure that you click on the page two to make sure that you are working on this page and on this page we are going to position this hand on top of the button. Now on page number three we are actually going to remove this little hand that is at the edge of the page. We're going to page two, select this little hand, go to the three dots, copy and then go to page three, right click, paste. Now on the third page we are going to change the color on the border of this frame and also the color on the button. Start by selecting the frame, go to border color and in here you can select any other color. I'm going to add a hex code so I'm clicking on this plus icon, pasting the hex code and now I'm changing the color on this button. So selecting the shape, going to color and I'm doing exactly the same process. So going to the plus icon and pasting the hex code. Now on the third page we should see instead of subscribe, subscribed. So I'm going to add add a D at the end of this word and I'm also going to add another extra element to this button. I'm going to increase a little bit this box to the left and I'm going to elements again. This time I'm going to search for bell, going to graphics and from here I'm selecting this bell right here that has a very subtle animation. I'm going to make it pretty small and position it next to this text box. I'm going to increase the size of this shape at the back a little bit more and then reposition these elements again so they are aligned to the middle of the page. Now I want to add some little sparkles next to this button so we can have something more special going on on this last frame. Let's go to elements and from here let's search for spark. Hit enter, go to graphics and then filter by animated. Let's close this filter and scroll down. I found this animated element right here and I really really like these tiny sparkles that we see on this side. So we're gonna crop them. Click on the elements and now click on this icon that says crop. We're going to crop this animated element so we can only see these three tiny sparkles and then hit done. We're gonna position this tiny sparkles over here, adjust their size and then duplicate them, position them here to the other side, flip them horizontal and just making sure that they are very aligned to the middle of this button. I think this is starting to look really great and we just need to start adding some animations. Let's go to page number one, make sure that you are working on this page. You will see that you are located on this page because this one will have a purple outline. Like this, you know that you are on this page. Now we're going to select this little cursor that we have here hanging at the edge of the page and then we are going to click on animate. Now we're going to create a custom animation. So click on this B thumbnail and now 
now we are going to drag this cursor until it arrives here. I'm going to change the movement style to smooth because the original looks a little bit choppy. The movement is not so smooth. So that's why I'm selecting this option here. And I'm also making this animation a little bit faster by moving this slider to the right. Now we need to adjust the timing of page number one. Click on the background and you will see this button that says edit timing. Click here and change this timing to 1.9. Hit enter. Now let's edit page number two. What I'm trying to create here is, as you saw, on page number one, we see the cursor getting closer to the button. And on page two, we are going to recreate this effect of the cursor clicking on the button. For this, we are going to select the shape that we have behind the text box. Go to animate. And I think this can recreate this clicking effect in here. I'm going to select neon on enter and then keep scrolling down until you see motion effects and click flicker as well. Now select this cursor and click neon again. We should have this neon effect on enter on the shape behind the text box and also on this hand. The flicker effect or the flicker motion effect should be only on the button behind the text box. Now click on the back on page number two and adjust the timing to 0 0.8 seconds and hit enter. Now moving on to page number three, make sure that you click on this little thumbnail to make sure that we are working on this page. And on this page, we want to recreate the effect of the cursor moving away from the button. So click on this element, go to animate, create an animation again. So click on this B and now we're going to move this cursor away. I'm going to select again the movement style smooth and we can make this animation a little bit faster as well. Click done and we are also going to edit the length of page number three. So click on the background, go to edit timing, type 1.9 and hit enter. Now let's preview our animation. Click on this button and you should see something like this. Our animation is ready, but there is an important part missing. We need to add sound effects. For this, we are going to Elements, scroll down and open the audio section. We're going to search for a click sound effect. So I'm going to type here, click and hit enter. I'm going to move this guide at the beginning of page number two, because remember on page number two, we were recreating this clicking effect and then select the sound effect that you prefer. I'm going for this one here, so we should see or hear something like this. Okay, that's looking nice. And now I want to add something extra, something else for when we see this change in the button appearing in here. So we should see that after subscribe, we are subscribed and we want to hear something nice. There is a sound effect here in the library that I really like and it's called Epic Victory Chime. I already have it here under recently used and I'm going to apply it. Make sure that your guide is here at the beginning of page number three and then click on this sound effect. And now let's preview our animation one more time before downloading. I think this is looking really great and we are ready to download. Go to the navigation bar on top and click on share, then download. Make sure that you are using MP4 video. All the pages are selected. And if you're using this animation on your social media accounts, make sure to connect your accounts in here and then hit download. The link to the template of this animation we created today is in the description, but I'm also leaving it here on the screen. And if you want to learn how to create this fortune wheel animation in Canva, I'm leaving here the tutorial with the steps to follow. 